Assalamualaikum friends Hello everyone Good morning How are you today? I hope you all stay healthy and happy ya Okay guys Can you wiggle your fingers? Or wiggle your body? What about Can you run and jump hike like this picture? Yeah Have you all the wonder how you can do that? That's right, the muscles are the things that responsible for us in doing many movements and allow us to do many things we would like to. Welcome back to Science Lesson with me, Miss Dewey. Today, our topic it will be about skeleton and movement. So, we're going to see how our skeleton can move. But before we start our lesson, let's say basmala. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay guys, if you see this symbol, you must write down on your notebook. Don't forget ya. Okay, now we are going to start our lesson. Let's check this video until the end. Skeleton and movement. Look at the picture. There is muscle. Yeah, muscles make us move. The definition of muscular system. Muscular system is a body system that for enabling movement. Now, let's get now more about muscles. Muscles are the part of the body that allow us to move in many different ways. Do you know where the muscles are located on your body? Yeah, muscles are found under the skin and it cover all the skeleton and give your body shape. You can look this picture. Muscles also attached to the bones so that it can coordinate with the skeleton and allow us to move the connection between muscle and the bone is called as tendon this is tendon between muscle and bone get the picture the muscles in your upper arm the upper part it is called as biceps repeat after me biceps and then the muscles in your upper arm the down part it is called as triceps can you repeat after me triceps good the upper part is bicep and then the down part is tricep you can look at the picture How muscles work? Muscles always work in pairs. It means there are two muscles working together. One muscle contract and pull on the bone. The opposite relax. The, the opposite muscle relax. Muscle work by getting shorter and longer. Look at the picture. The first picture when you lift your arm towards your body, one muscle in the pair getting shorter we can say it contract as the muscle contract it pulls to on the other muscle to make it longer we can say the other muscle relax and then the second picture when you drops your arm the muscle at the back of your arm the triceps contract and getting shorter it pulls on the bicep muscle at the front of the arm to make it relax and getting longer do you know mouse muscles are also found in our organs yeah muscles are also found in our organ like our heart and gullet heart is muscle that is not joined to any bones muscles are important for our body because they have several functions the functions of muscles are 1. 
hold organs in place. Two, hold bones together so that we can move. Three, help to chew food. Four, open and close our eyelids. Five, pump our blood. Six, allow to run and play. And then the last is help to smile. Okay, well, let's, let's have a quick review for what we have learned today. First, muscles actually allow us to move and to do many things. Second, muscles are joined to bones, we call them as tendon. Third, muscles work in pairs, they will be like two muscles working together. Fourth, muscles work by pulling on bones and then the last is function of muscles okay later if you have question you make us during the zoom session well done everyone okay the last one after watching this video i want you to try to answer the exercise you can write your answer on your notebook and don't forget to submit to your teacher well thank you so much friends See you again on the next science lesson. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.